Hello everyone, Sigma Later here, and welcome to Resident Evil Zero. Now, I've been bored on, during quarantine, as I'm sure many people have, so I decided that I'm going to play through the entire mainline Resident Evil story. So that's going to be Resident Evil 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Revelations 1, 5, Revelations 2, 6, and then 7. I don't know how long this series is going to run on for, but hey, it gives me something to do, and it'll hopefully give you something interesting to watch. So with that said... Let's get right into it. <coughs> uh, yes, yes, and yes. <coughs> Excuse me. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockport Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. I forgot about Code Veronica as well, which that that's going to be between three and four. I can't believe I forgot Code Veronica. Oh, what large teeth you have! of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. Well, there goes Bravo team. Was a relatively painless landing. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look. <sighs> what could have happened here, I wonder? Xenomorphs. Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Reichenthal base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. 
See, I think this game would have been more interesting had we followed the other Bravo team members rather than Rebecca. Because this, uh, this game kind of messes up Rebecca's character. As she goes through all of this and she toughens up like, quite a bit. And then when you meet her again in Resident Evil 1, she's useless. I mean, yeah, we know how the other what happens to the other members of the Bravo team, but that would have made the story just that bit more engaging. Well, that's just my opinion. Let's get on board the train. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Well, I mean, you could just open it again and leave. All right. Oh, need to remember the controls. There we go. I've been replaying the RE2 and RE3 remakes quite a bit, so I'm, I'm a bit out of practice with the old fixed camera. He's just having a nap, he's fine. Oh, they were very quiet. Go on, sit down. Thank you. They were, but then they got better. Uh, no, I want to go this way. It's been a while since I've played Zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Bullets, yes, please. Poor Gomez has been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. Ew. What a way to go. Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with it's the same with type y, Y139. There's still so much we don't know about the responses to the crustacean T virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Really? I haven't read these files for ages, so this is going to be uh, a refresher for me too. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in, in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. This lab we are going to, where they were they pursuing the same research, it would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our own research. June 19th. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it, it goes smoothly. How did that work out for you? Doesn't seem to be of anything of any use. Fair enough. 
If you say there's nothing of any use, I will take your word for it, Rebecca. All right, let's pop in next door. Housekeeping. Uh, safe room. Investigation orders. Stained with blood, some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arclay Mountains lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. The first investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders, William Birkin and... I can't even be hazard a guess at that one. The rest is torn and unreadable. Yeah, I'll take you, because herbs are always useful. There's uh, no chests in this one. You can pick items up or put them down, but there's no chests. Personally, I would like uh, an implementation of both systems. So instead of discarding items that you can't carry when there's no chest around, you can just put them down. But it seems so far we can only have one or the other. This train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. It's a key! Oh, and who could that be? What gave it away? I like little moments like this because it shows that Rebecca is uh, a rookie and she hasn't really quite Edward, you all right? what happened? developed that authority that comes with being a cop. Alas, poor Edward, we hardly knew ye. Ah, oh, it's a pooch. Damn it. Oh, shit. While I prefer the fixed camera angles, there are downsides. Oh, come on. Like, you can't really judge where they are. Have that. Take the bullets off you, because I definitely need it after that. But that builds, that's what builds up the tension in this game. It's not just the idea of zombies and monsters. It's the idea that you can't see what's coming around the corner. But saying that, I, think, I feel like the RE2 remake got the balance... Oh, shit. Just right. Oh shit, I had to re reload again already? <sighs> Rebecca, love, you're starting to test my patience.
God, it really has been a while since I've played this. I don't... <laughs> I've never taken this much damage on the train before. Just goes to show that skills fade if you don't maintain maintain them over time. I right, can't go that way. But yeah, I don't know if this is going to be an interesting thing I'm going to do, but I'm going to stick with it because I love Resident Evil. So just the mainline games from 0 to 7 even though I've done playthroughs for some of those games already. This is Rebecca. Over. Just about. Enrico. Hello. Can you read me? Please respond. Yep. Lose signal. It's like uh, in horror in uh, horror movies when your phone has no bars. It's an old cliche, but they do it on purpose so the characters don't have a get out of jail free card. Essentially, it's like in zombie movies when the police forces and the military are conveniently wiped out by the zombie apocalypse. It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you. Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca. <laughs> Her attempts to be tough are quite cute. Bless her. Notice to supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the car. Staff. The main automatic door power... The automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Why? Who's who designed this train? Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corp Maintenance Department. Nothing's ever simple with you guys, is it? Sir? Where's my soup? I ordered the soup. Where is soup? Soup not here. Excuse me, sir. Are you soup? Sir. Are, are you soup? <gasps> See, that's what happens when you don't get your soup. Your head falls off. And you turn into those. Soup. <laughs> right, I'm not going to bother fighting him because I don't have the health. I'm not even going to question that because what would be the point? <laughs> really? It's a fucking leech. Was that really necessary? Are you 
okay. God, that is so 90s, the old thumbs up. See, this is how you know he's a lunatic. He likes opera music and classical music. All psychos, doesn't matter whether it's a thriller, a horror, a game, a movie, a book. All bad guys and all psychos love classical music. I don't know why. Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. <laughs> I will shoot you. Fine. Here's some bullets. <laughs> oh, my. Player's manual number two. Character switching. You can control between the two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities to progress through the game. The character you cu you currently control is called the main character. The character you do not control is called the partner character. Controlling the partner character. The partner character generally moves independently, but you can use the R stick to control them yourself. Handy. Selecting partner on the status screen allows you to assign instructions to the character. Solo. Both characters move independently. Team. Partner, partner follows the main character. Attack, partner attacks, idle, partner will not attack. You can also press back button to switch between solo and team behaviour. Press Y to switch between characters. You will need to switch characters in order to progress in certain situations. Exchanging items. When your partner character is nearby, you can exchange items on the status screen. Choose the item from the main character's item box and select exchange. Rebecca has the following attributes. Can can combine herb related items. Weak defense can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. Billy has the following. Cannot combine herb related items. Strong offense can push many large objects. Both the main and partner characters will die if they take too much damage. You should always keep an eye on their condition. A partner being attacked in a different room will call for help over the radio. If your partner does call, go to help as quickly as possible. Some puzzles cannot be solved by only one character. When you are stuck, try to see if using your character, your partner will help. I'll go check over there. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you here for now. And need to go and connect the power, which for some reason is on the roof. I don't get it. Why is it on the roof? I don't imagine it'll be that easy to move along the roof of a train in this weather and at the speed the train's going. Power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable. I would would not want to touch that. It's raining. Yeah, that that seems perfectly safe, Rebecca. Well done. And apparently she, she can magically weld the cables together. <laughs> Grab that. Yeah, that's better. Relax a bit now. Okay. There you go, Billy. There's a key for you. Go do all that for me. OK. 
Okay, so we'll send it off to Billy. And now we become Billy. Right, was there something in here I could have picked up? Don't see anything. No shinies. I, mean, I could check the map because I think the maps still tell me whether or not if I've fully investigated an area. No, maybe not. No, I need to go this way first. Key, please. Hello. No, you're not dead. Now you are. Cool. No, nope, wrong button. Come on, buddy. There we go. I would like to see Resident Evil Zero and the remake of one redone with the uh, RE engine. Because as much as I love this fixed camera angle look, and these get and the way these games still look is impressive. The fact that there's no loading with the RE engine and the RE engine looks so good. Obviously, I would prefer a fixed camera option in the RE2 and RE3 remakes. But the world has moved on. As much as I don't agree with it. On the plus side, at least the over-the-shoulder camera angle actually works in RE2 and RE3. My biggest complaint with 4, 5 and 6, well not so much 6, but 4 and 5, the controls were horrible. The one good thing I can say about 6 is that the camera controls were very much largely improved in RE6. Is that a monster waiting for the script to come in and attack me? I believe it might be. That's the thing I need. Right, I'm going to get rid of the knife because I don't use it. I'm going to put you in there to free up some space. Ah, more bullets. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I'll come back for you. See, this is what I mean about the uh, the lack of chests that I don't like.
it's just so much more convenient having a place where you can put items and then just pick them up again whenever. Right, let's equip you. I'll just have to come back for that briefcase because I will need it. Well, hello. Where did you actually come from? Come on. Come on, Scorpion King. Oh. Got to be dead soon, surely. No. Yeah, that's another thing I don't like about this character switching thing. You press the wrong button and that's it. No, you just got to get that death hit in, don't you? Right. Alright, you can die now. Thank you. Right, now I can go back and get the briefcase. And then we can head back to Rebecca. Oh no, wait, hold on. Ugh, I need to pick up the hook thing. I'll take you with me though, because I do actually need you. I don't think I'll get any more shotgun shells on the train. So I can ditch the shotgun for a bit. And it doesn't really matter where I drop them on the train, because when the train crashes, I think all the items you've picked up and put down get conveniently dropped near you. And I've done it again, I've pressed the wrong button. Right, so what I'll do... I'll leave the shotgun there. Grab you. Oh, he's wrecked the bar. Now I can't have a drink. And I believe in a situation like this, you'd want you'd want a drink. Is it items you've picked up and put down that get thrown? Can't remember. Well, we'll find out one way or the other. No more Zambinos? Good. That's what I like to hear. Quiet train and no customers to moan. <laughs> Moan. I'm a comedy genius. Right. Let's go here first. Yeah. That's that open. Send this up to Rebecca.
And that's that. That's how you solve that puzzle. Oh yeah, I ha have to physically use the item. Oh, well, that was easy. Hi boys. Hi boys. Right, let's go catch up with Billy. Follow me. Okay. Oh, we do get more shotgun shells. No, what I'll do, I'll pick them up and then put them down. Because I think I am right. If, I, if I've picked them up and then dropped them, they'll get thrown from the train so I can access them later. I don't know how right that is. Do this as well because um, no, we can make Molotov cocktails with this. All right, give that to Billy. Puzzle solved. I've gone the wrong way. I actually wanted to go out the back here. You can tell it's been a while since I've played this. I'm struggling to remember what I'm doing. It's another reason why I wanted to do this series long playthrough. The RE2 and RE3 remakes have really sort of rekindled my love for Resident, Resident Evil. I used to be so knowledgeable on the lore of Resident Evil, but I feel like I've forgotten so much. And there's still a lot of games I haven't played in the series, well, mostly the side ones. Hookshot Operator's Manual. Warning, this device should only be used when inspecting difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use. Where to use? Use this as a ladder. There is a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage. Fire the device so that it hooks hooks high onto the ladder using the winch to climb after securing the hook use the winch to lift up your, to lift yourself up this grappling hook can only lift one person at a time be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kilograms why would i need this to access a ladder Follow me. it I'm, I seriously have to question some of the design choices for this train. I mean, I'm no, I'm no engineer. But a lot of these design choices seem... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dumb. Just make, just make it a drop-down ladder. Why do I need a, a hook? I love that. I love it when they both shoot together. Pick up an empty bottle, so we can use that for a Molotov. There we go. Come, Billy. We've got things to do, hooks to fire, ladders to climb.
Nicely done. Go team. There we go. You're good there, Billy. I saved you. Here we go. Hook shot. I mean, we pinned a lot of our hopes that there would be a hole in the train conveniently placed for me to drop down into. Housekeeping! Are you enjoying your, the train ride so far, sir? Everything to your satisfaction? satisfaction? Right, knife, don't need that. Oh no, they, he's hatching. Ugh. Gross. It's so icky. Get off me, you damn leech. Oh no, how I wanted to go in into that other room and pick up and put things down. <laughs> and I think I've gone the wrong way anyway. Yeah, I think it's the other side I want to be down. If I'm remembering this rightly, I'm probably not. So I'm going to pop in here. Pick you up. There. I mean, don't really need to do it with the ink ribbons because there's plenty of those scattered around. But as we're here, you know. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it properly. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, God! How many of those little shits do I have on me? Hey, Billy! Let's go. Okay. Actually, you have something I want. No, no, this one, examine, that's what I wanted, no, combine with you, open up, I mean I don't see why I need to have those two rings in order to open it, that bag looks very flimsy, as if I could, as if I could have just had a knife and cut it open, kind of flimsy. Oh no. Ignore it, Billy. We have more important things to do. But for now. I'm going to end this episode here. I don't know what I have started with this series. I mean, it could just ultimately be... Yeah, those are some older playthroughs. It could ultimately be like this channel gets oversaturated with Resident Evil, but I need something to do. I need some content, and I love this game, so might as well keep doing what I love.
But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil Zero. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.